Our next guest is joining us from Atlanta, Georgia, where she is helping us get into the Halloween spirit with her spooky, sweet DIY haunted house. Look how cute that is. Please welcome back our good buddy, Lynn Lilly. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Debbie. How are you? Thanks so much for having me back. I missed you. Oh, I miss you, too. We are so happy to have you back. You always put a smile on everyone's faces. That is for Thank sure. You. Well, listen, Halloween looks a little bit different this year, but you have still found a way to keep it just as festive and fun, haven't you? Absolutely. So we love Halloween in our house. We dress up multiple times, and we usually get really excited for trick-or-treat. But this year, it's a little different. So I wanted to come up with a way that we can still have fun and play trick-or-treat. So we are creating a spectacular haunted house. And let me tell you, not only is this easy, but my daughter is already loving it. She got a sneak peek and got to play in it. Oh, my and goodness. And really loved having some <gasps> fun. And I think Alexandra's going to like it, too, Debbie. Oh, my goodness. Alexandra is going to yeah. love this. Lynn, she's going to adore this. I can't wait to take it home. Now, I said Halloween looks a little different this year, but is it okay for me to say that you look a little different as well? I do. <laughs> December 30th, so another little girl. Oh my goodness, congratulations. You're gonna have a little Thank New you. Year's baby. I know, we have, we love the holiday babies. My first one was a Thanksgiving baby, so we sit right in at Hallmark. We love the do, holidays in our house. You <laughs> certainly do. I can't wait for the arrival of that little munchkin. But in the meantime, we are gonna make this awesome cardboard Halloween house. So it starts with some cardboard boxes, and you began a little earlier today, so we're gonna take a look at that. Take a look. I did, and Deb, if you're like me, I think we've been doing a lot of that online shopping. So I've got a ton of boxes in my garage that my husband wanted me to get rid of. So to start with those boxes, you need three, two large and one medium box. You cut them apart and build the frame of your house and attach it using some masking tape. And then you can reinforce it using some industrial glue, whether you use a traditional or an industrial hot glue. That's gonna keep it together. And then if you've got a yard stick or some bare wood laying in that garage, use that to help prop up your roof. But what I love about this is that we kept it super easy. So That's you get right. to recycle those boxes and create something fun and easy. And then cut out that door and you are good to go and add a little window so they can trick or treat Aww. through that window. How cute is that? And you're so right. What a great way to upcycle the boxes, you know? That's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, it's a great way to recycle. And I'll tell you, my husband was happy for me to get all those boxes out of the garage. <laughs> I bet he was. Yeah, I'm with you with all the online shopping. Oh, boy. Okay, so now yep. we have our, our house put together, and we have already started painting it with some beautiful purple and orange paint. So tell me what we're going to do next. Okay, so we started at the top. You can see we got some of our paint done with our Crayola acrylic paints, which is a favorite of mine. Oh, mine too. We used some of our Crayola construction paper to create our shingles. And then I know you've got some of our Crayola acrylic orange paint with you. So grab that paint, Deb. I do, I love gonna, this paint. We're gonna finish off our door. I don't know about you, but I noticed when I use this, it really provides such great coverage. So only one coat, which makes it nice. If you're a busy parent like me, quick project. It's true. Definitely helps and it dries. So quickly. Yeah, it's yep. so much fun. I don't know if you followed what I was doing over the break, but Lynn, my goodness, I have done so many Crayola crafts and so many of the ones that you have done. So thank you so much for all your inspiration. And I am a huge fan of this paint. Huge. I love it. Um, it is great. So it works really nice. And this will be dry in about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, that's so it. So really nice and easy. There you go. So now we've got that. I've painted the top of my drawer. And we also yep. have some more like some more decorations and things that we can put on there. For instance, this ribbon right here. Yes, so whether you head to the craft store, you grab some ribbon from your stash. We wanna use some hot glue and we're gonna glue ribbon along the trim. So this is a nice, fun way to personalize it or cover up any mistakes you made, which makes it really nice <laughs> and easy. Use That's it on right. the border, and then you can also do it on the door as well and go all the way down. It's so sweet. I will say this. So I was out this weekend with Alexandra shopping for Halloween decorations for the house. Number one, it's really difficult to find anything that compares to the things we make here. And number two, I found the coolest Crayola pumpkin paint. Have you seen that, where you can paint your pumpkins? Yes, it is so awesome. It works really great on pumpkins, so I definitely recommend trying it out. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it that night. As soon as we got home, we painted the pumpkins, and she loved it. Okay, so I've got my That's trim awesome. on. Now, yep, we also, there you go. We also have some spider webs and some other spooky things happening over here. Oh, and we even have this little pumpkin we can put on top. Yep, so a little pumpkin that can go on top with a bow. It makes it fun. And then you can grab some spider 
spider web and stretch that. And I'm going to show you a spooky spider in just a second. Okay. So whether you kind of put that on and you can kind of stretch this to go to your corners and just have some fun adding that spooky touch. But then my favorite, which we talked about this before, this yeah. is one of my favorites. Crayola Model Magic is like a parent's dream. Oh. And my child likes to use it at least once a day. I'm with, these with you. Oh, Lynn. Aren't they so cute? I am so with you. The spooky spiders are adorable. You can make just about anything with this uh, model magic. It's Alexandra's favorite and my favorite. This is a parent's dream come true. It doesn't get caught in the carpet. I mean, it is yes. perfect. Yep. I All right, love so it. Check them out on the house. How cute are they? You just glue them on using some hot glue. And Aww. then I have these other details on the house. So. We've got, we finished it off with ribbon, but we also took Crayola France to spell out my daughter's name Aww. and then open the door and we created a fun little play area inside with twinkle lights and a little seat and pillow. And then, you know what, I like me, I'm a little extra, so added some pumpkins. <laughs> that pumpkin paint would be perfect to decorate and just have some fun with it. It's a fun way to create a happy place for your child to celebrate Halloween. You know what, Lim? You always make everything so much more fun. I love your extraness. And these aren't the, this isn't the only craft that you are doing. As a matter of fact, you have a lot of other stuff, really fun stuff coming up on Crayola's Facebook page, right? I do. So I'm live every Tuesday on Crayola's Facebook page at 1 p.m. But on October 27th, tune into Crayola's Facebook page because we are going to be sharing the Crayola Create It Yourself brand new book that is coming out with 52 seasonal crafts. And we're going to be sharing some of the Halloween ones. So Lots of fun. Make sure you tune in on the 27th at 1 and follow me at Craft Boss Girls for more Crayola projects and other easy DIYs for the whole family. Well, you know I will be there, Lynn, for certain. Thank you so much for joining us from your home. We miss you and we can't wait to see oh. you back here in person very soon, okay? Yeah, we miss you too. Happy Halloween, Debbie. Happy Halloween. I'll take pictures and I'll send them to you for your little girl. Yes, please. <laughs> I want to see Alexandra playing in that on Halloween. She will love that. Thank you, Lynn. We'll see you soon. See For yes. full instructions, you all please visit hallmarkchannel.com and be sure to pick up a copy of Crayola Create It Yourself, which is on sale October 27th, wherever books are sold. Ooh.